outside Africa, Human Rights Watch Executive Director Kenneth Roth on Wednesday urged against declaring victory prematurely and for a fair result to the U.S. election. President Donald Trump proclaimed victory over Democratic challenger Joe Biden on Wednesday, despite incomplete results from several battleground states that could determine the outcome of the U.S. presidential race. Everyone has voted. Now it's time to ensure that every vote counts. We all know the risks. There's the possibility that one candidate might declare victory prematurely, or that he might try to delegitimize some aspect of the election by making unfounded claims. Those risks increase if the vote tally varies as election officials apply state rules about which type of ballot to count first. Leaders of democracies around the world have an important role to play in guaranteeing that the ballot of every voter counts. If we all remain committed to democracy, we can achieve a fair result. To discuss this, we're now being joined by Shei Oyefeso, business developer, The Bob Africa. Thank you very much, Shei, for joining us. No problem at all. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. The trend in the election results, did you foresee this close contest? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, it was very obvious looking at the way that people have been more involved in politics, uh, both personally, uh, vocally, and with all of the different issues that have happened uh, this particular year uh, with coronavirus and the Black Lives Matter movement, to be specific, uh, it's been very obvious that people are a lot more concerned about the policies that are happening around them and the different things that will influence the way that they can live their lives. And there's been so much attention on the actual college. What's the significance of that to popular votes? So, in general, the unfortunate part about the Electoral College is that it reinforces uh, some constitutions that were put in place during slavery times. Uh, it's unfortunate now that something like that is still in place. And what the real issue is, doesn't allow for the people's voice to be heard. Uh, in times, in slavery times, it made sure that white Southerners were able to have their vote count more than everyone else in general. And till today, uh, we are seeing that in those swing states, uh, George Bush in 2020, or even uh, Trump versus Clinton in 2016, uh, that just the Electoral College alone can still count higher than the popular vote. And so that's uh, one of the major issues. It just doesn't reinforce the people being hurt. Uh, it only accounts for a few. Either way, which one, which one of the two uh, presidential candidates should Africans and Nigerians specifically be, should be rooting for? Well, there are two ways to look at that. The first way uh, is if you see yourself or your children or your family eventually moving to America, you'd want to vote for a candidate that focuses on the issues that you agree with. So you can have something like women's reproductive rights, uh, immigration, global warming, ethnic inequality. Uh, those are things that you would be concerned with if you live in the United States. If you're going to remain here in Nigeria, uh, you should focus on the candidate uh, whose policies would help the Naira grow or decrease. Uh, what we can see right now is that if Trump is to win the election, the dollar will actually go up. And so that would have a negative impact on the Naira. Uh, if Biden wins, the dollar will stay about the same or go lower, uh, which is a positive impact. So. Uh, thinking about that, our relationship with China as well, um, it's just important to take your own study and really know uh, which one of those things will affect us. Um, as far as Naira is concerned, um, if Trump wins, it's bad for us. As far as Naira is concerned, if, if Biden wins, it's good for us. Hmm. Millions of votes are yet uncounted across the U.S., but both parties have, you know, asserted victory. So how do you describe Trump and Biden's comments even before the results are uh, finally announced? The same way that we saw it was typical that so many more people would be involved because they have been voicing themselves as of late. Uh, we're used to Trump voicing himself all the time. Uh, so he's going to constantly say what he feels, uh, no matter what facts or figures may be available, um, so it's typical. Uh, Biden's own response is also typical. 
uh, just not the type of person to fan the flames. And so I, I think that everyone is just kind of playing their role at the moment. Thank you very much, uh, Shei Oyehaso, for speaking with us. No problem. Take care.